I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm going to do a reading today to give you an example of how to read the cards differently when they show up in different positions in the layout. So what I'm going to be focusing on is how to help a friend who's having a hard time with life right now. The first card is Major Ten, Opportunity. The second card is Mystic of Fire, Effervescence. The third card is Five of Fire, Challenge. The fourth card is Nurture of Earth, Abundance. And the fifth card is Major Three, Generosity. So with the cards appearing in this order, my friend's having a tough time with life, and I'm trying to make sure that he or she can regain her balance, his balance, and move forward instead of staying stuck. So the first thing I'm going to do is talk to my friend about the opportunities that are actually available, what can be done right now. Then I'm going to try and light my friend's fire a little bit get him or her interested in something that brings laughter, brings joy, just for a minute. I know that my friend is immersed in a lot of challenges, and those are going to come and go for weeks or months to come. But these little moments of lightness help to make the challenges a little easier. So we're going to get into that lightness, and then we're going to face the challenges again. Maybe talk about them. Maybe just look at them. Then I'm going to work with my friend about where abundance actually is. A lot of times when we're in a challenge, what we're seeing is a lack of options. So I'm going to help, help my friend see where there's a lot available, whether it's love or choices or money or whatever it is. There's abundance someplace, and we're going to focus on that. And then we're going to learn to use that abundance generously. We're going to not hoard what we do have a lot of because we're afraid of the scarcity. I'm going to encourage my friend to share some of that abundance somehow so that they can get their flow of generosity and coming and going, the ebb and flow of life moving again because they're stuck in a challenge that's got them kind of clamping down a little bit and that holds the life force energy tight. So... This is the first view of how I would read those cards. We're focusing on opportunities and joy. We're dealing with the challenges. We're not moving away from them. And we're looking for the places where my friend actually has the resources to deal with those challenges. And we're encouraging a sharing of those resources in some way or another. Now, same question. I've got a friend who's struggling with something, and I want to be able to help. And now what we have is a different arrangement of the cards. We're starting with abundance here this time. So what I'm going to do is get my friend to focus on what's available what's really, really in abundance in his or her life. Maybe that's tears today. Maybe it's frustration. It's okay. We're going to take that abundance and we're going to apply it directly to the challenge in some fashion or another. We're going to work with the challenge based on the tools we have from that abundance. Out of that, we're going to move into generosity. Now, this can be generosity to self as well as generosity to others. So I'm going to ask my friend to take a really good look at the results of applying the abundance to the challenge and see if there's a place in there where there was a gift that they received as a result of doing that. And we are going to celebrate that gift. We're going to have a great time with the fact that something positive has already come from the challenge. 
And we're going to use that celebration energy to look at what other opportunities are available here. Where can this challenge lead my friend to so that it becomes the foundation of opportunity instead of something that's depriving opportunity? Now we're going to mix it up again. Same friend, same question. We've got some challenges, and I want to help my friend find their way through this. So, this time, the cards came out just a little bit differently. We begin with abundance again. Abundance, as I've mentioned, is what we have a lot of. And we're generous with that abundance. We move from the awareness of what there's a lot of into figuring out how to give it away. Now, a lot of times when I'm facing a challenge, I have an abundance of frustration, sometimes an abundance of raw emotion. And that emotion or that frustration is useful to somebody. It's just on overload with me. So I'm going to suggest that my friend return some of that abundance to the universe. Don't give it directly to another person. Just give it back to the universe so that it's available for whoever needs it next. Then, once we've cleared some of that overload out, we're going to move into taking a look at the challenge and figuring out how we can turn that challenge into something that expands my friend's life, expands their energy, makes them excited and brings their sparkle back in. We're just going to take a look at that challenge as if it's a great big adventure and we're going to laugh our way through that adventure. And then we get to see the opportunities that are coming from the adventure. I may not know what those opportunities are, but my friend will be in a place from this happiness of being able to see them. So there's an example of some of the different ways that the cards relate to each other when they're in a layout. Exactly same layout, exactly same question. Explore and experiment with your deck. Let yourself get a feel for the way the meanings of the cards change just a little bit, depending on which cards they're beside and where they are.